Hello. Well, as the title of this video suggests, this is a how to grow tulips in a tub or pot from start to finish. Let me show you the three varieties of tulips that I picked up at my local garden center just the other day. There's the first one. What is that? Apricot Fox. The second packet there. Spitzbergen. And finally, a packet of 10 Libri. I don't know. There you go. That's the variety right there. So we have kind of pale purple, more maroon red, and then as this one suggests, an apricot colored tulip. I didn't pick those tulip bulbs for any color preference. I picked them because they were on sale. $3.99 reduced to one pound a bag. So that's what governed my choice, really, the price. Anyhow, let's get into the bags, reveal the tulip bulbs, and get them planted into a pot. Let's start with the apricot box variety, this one here. I do like that color. If you're unsure on how to plant tulips, the back of the packets usually give you a rough guide on what to do. There you go. It's saying plant these particular bulbs 15 centimeters deep or six inches deep, uh, four inches apart. There we can see the seasons when you should ideally plant your tulip bulbs September through to December and April through to March will be the period that they bloom. And it also says, gives you a time indicator here of how long it should take you to get these done. Five minutes, there you go. So they are a really easy bulb to plant. Open up the packet. As you can see, a lot of these are already starting to shoot. That's a good sign as far as I'm concerned. It shows you that these are viable and hopefully we won't have any duds in this packet. Okay, as you can see, I've chosen a pot and filled it with multi-purpose compost, leaving a gap of about two and a half inches from the top. These are my apricot fox tulips. You can see they've got like a rounded edge and then a flatter edge on the back. What I'm gonna do is place that flatter edge alongside the edge of the pot itself. And I'll just work my way around the pot, planting the tulips in the pot like that. I'm not having them touch each other leaving a little bit of a gap between each. Also, I'm not going down six inches as the uh, instructions suggest. I think this distancing and depth will be enough. Okay, so that's the first lot planted. Now with there being a gap in the center of the pot there, I'm gonna just fill that gap with two tulips from each of the remaining bags. There we go. What I'm gonna do now is top up the pot with compost, leaving a small gap at the top there so that water doesn't run out. And I'll place this out on my patio and we will chart its progress throughout this coming season. And there you have it. That's the hard bit done. All you need to do now is make sure that this tub is well watered if we hit a dry period in the winter and early spring. And as the packet suggests, come April and May, these tulip bulbs should be in full bloom. As for the remainder of these bulbs, I'll just plant them up at the allotment.
Okay, I thought I'd give you a quick update on how we're getting on with the tulips. As you can see, we've got nine shoots showing. There are a few misfires. Um, they may yet appear, but I'm not too sure. Only time will tell. I planted these on uh, January the 10th. We are now into February the 23rd, so 43 days on. And this is the stage that they are at, at the moment. March the 18th, on a grey, drizzly day here in the UK. Hey, that, that almost rhymes. Uh, and it's time for a tulip update. There we go. You'll see that they are much further on than from the last video. And it looks like those two tulip bulbs are starting to sprout. So better late than never. Anyway, that's what we look like at this stage of the season. April the 16th, and I thought I'd show you how the tulips are getting on. As you can see, they are almost in flower. So maybe only a week or two, probably a week I'd reckon, to go before they open up. They all look fairly healthy. I've done nothing apart from water them during the hot spell that we've had recently over here in the UK. It's kept them going. And yeah, they are looking good. So once these uh, flowers have opened, I'll give you the final update. And here we go, six days later, you can see that we have seven of the tulips in flower. There we go. We've got this apricot fox around the edge. Two of the Spitzbergen here and the Libra have yet to flower they're just a little behind at the moment but you can see that they're not far off there's one and then the other so i'd imagine i don't know maybe maybe another week before those two flower there we go the tulips are in full bloom at the end of April. And I'm calling that a success. Okay, there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this step-by-step -step guide on how to grow tulips in a container or a pot. As you can see, they were fairly easy and maintenance-free. If you've never done it before, why don't you give it a go? I'm sure you'll be happy with the results. Well, thank you very much for watching this if you have. Remember to hit that like button, share, subscribe, but most importantly, please do comment down below. And until the next video, bye for now.